Hello, my name is Darshan Rawal, and in this video, I'm going to show you my Python project, which are based on the uh, weather application, uh, based on the concept of web scraping. So the aim of this project is to build a web application using Python, uh, which will uh, show us the the weather condition, the all the all the weather, the info about the uh, particular location in this whole world, right? So for that. Uh, first, first of all, let's understand the code first. So in this project, I have used two Python modules. The first one is beautiful soap and the second one is request module, right? So uh, first of all, you need to specify the uh, browser compatibility uh, with your uh, Python application that we are going to build in this video. So for that, you need to uh, write something like this in your python application so i have i have uh, i have mentioned the mozilla firefox 5.0 then the uh, chrome browser and the safari browser right so uh, my, now my application is compatible with all these three browsers after that uh, make one function uh, let's call it as weather and pass the city as a parameter so that we are getting from the user right so here the, we, are, we are getting the input from the user uh, in the city variable. And uh, after concatenate, concatenate this uh, weather uh, string with, the, with that uh, input and pass it in the weather function. Right? So for, first of all, uh, remove all the spaces that are currently available in that uh, input string uh, that are uh, entered by the user. Replace, uh, replace all the white spaces with the plus character uh, in the city variable. Right. After that, uh, pass this city variable in the using this request module. Uh, connect your uh, Python application with the uh, Google search that are current uh, that are going in in uh, behind this scene. Right. So in the in this app string, uh, specify the uh, city name and write something uh, write something like this in the request uh, uh, request uh, function. Uh, you need to specify the headers as well, so it will uh, it will know that uh, uh, whether the browser compatibility uh, browser compa compatibility uh, compatibility is available uh, uh, on your system or not. Right. So after that, uh, request returns a response. So we, uh, it will store all the uh, row HTML file in this response object. Right. So first, we need to check the response code of the uh, of the response. So if it uh, if the response uh, status code is two hundred then it means that everything goes right uh, uh, the function operation for the uh, the operation performs successfully right but in case if the status code is not equals to 200 that means there must be something error right so for uh, at that point of time we are uh, printing this line error while fetching the information so if your internet is off or something uh, error happen in, in the back, uh, in the background process then it will uh, return the status code not equals to 200 so and if, if the status code is uh, not equals to 200 uh, then uh, let's move further in the uh, application so if the status code is not equal to 200, print something like this searching in the Google. So it, the searching uh, will uh, will be going one behind the scene in the application, right? So now let's use beautiful soap. So beautiful soap, in, in this beautiful soap function, you need to pass two arguments. The first one is response.text, that is the row HTML text that we are getting from this request module. And the second argument is HTML parser for parsing the HTML. So you can use HTML parser or HTML5 lib also. It will, uh, the, the both will work, right? Uh, in this uh, res.txt, so you, uh, you can use uh, content instead of this text. So it will something like res.content, it will also work. So this will return all the uh, row, HTML, uh, row HTML content in a structured manner and store it in the soap object so it will it will return all the uh, all the result that uh, that google gives right so if you type uh, if you type in the google let's say uh, amdavad weather right so it will give all the information about the weather condition in amdavad right so it will store all the information in the soap object in a structured manner uh, in a, but we don't need all that information. We just need to uh, extract these four variables. That is location, time, info about the weather, and actual weather. Right. So for that, uh, we need uh, we need to use this try and accept block. 
so let me show uh, let me tell you why i use this try and accept block so first i need i need to pass all my code all my actual code that we are uh, scraping from the from the information that currently uh, stored in this soap variable so if all the information are good all the information are available that we need to that we need to show to the user then it will find but in case if the user enters uh, uh, enters input something uh, random string in the input uh, like any any random string that are uh, that, that doesn't make any sense about the city name right so in the in that case we must raise an exception uh, saying that error while fetching the information right so for that i i used uh, try and accept block so uh, the uh, let's extract the location time info and weather from the uh, information uh, from all the uh, html row information available in this soap object so for that we have used this select method of soap uh, soap object so what this select method does is it will return the list of a matching string available in the soap object so what is this hashtag wob loc so it is a it is nothing but a string that are available in this soap object right so there are so many information available in this soap object but we need we, uh, but we need just a location name the time and the info and whether in uh, from that uh, so from that information so for that we need to use this uh, select method that will return the list of a matching string and we just need a first element so for that uh, in the square bracket of zero so it will uh, it will give us the first element of the returned list and uh, using this get text method uh, get text uh, get text function uh, convert the uh, convert those uh, string uh, this string into text and strip and uh, strip those text so let me tell you how this strip function works so this strip function what what this strip function does is it will basically uh, remove all the white spaces uh, in, from the string from the first character before the first character and after the last character so let me show you how it, how it, uh, how it works so if we have a string like this if we have a string like this so in this case uh, all the white spaces before this uh, s so it will it will remove it will be removed by the uh, strip function so it will remove all the spaces before before the first character that is s and uh, after the last character that is g right so after after uh, using strip function on this text uh, variable it will something look like this right so this is the actual string but in uh, if there is a space between between two character then it will not affect those uh, spaces right so this is how strip function works okay so let's move further after getting all the information after uh, extracting all the information uh, all the information just print those variables uh, on the output screen right so printing location time info that whether the condition is uh, foggy or sunny day or it is uh, whether it is a rainy day uh, right something like this then the actual weather in a degree celsius uh, and uh, while if if something is missing if something is missing uh, like if this uh, line uh, gives an error that uh, info about the particular location is not available then it will raise the exception that that says uh, error while fetching the information right so this is how uh, this uh, whole project works i hope you understand the code now let's run the uh, project so let me run it so it will first ask us for the uh, city name so let's enter a city name now the process is going behind the scene there are searching in the google and after the searching is complete after we are getting a uh, code not equals to 200 uh, we printing the location that is amidabad gujarat then our time that is monday uh, 11 am currently 11 uh, pm then the uh, info about the weather that, uh, that is smoke so the weather of the amidabad is currently uh, smoky weather the, and the actual temperature that is 26 degree celsius so this is the information we are getting from the google search right but we are just extracting those information in our python application so this is how it works so let's try another one so 
searching in Google and we are getting the result like London, UK, then Monday, 6 p.m. Uh, the weather condition is rainy and the actual weather uh, 16 degree Celsius. So th this is how it works. So now let me show you uh, how this uh, try and accept block works. So let's suppose user enters something like this. So this E, it doesn't make any sense about the uh, location name, right? So it will raise an uh, exception that error while fetching the information. So just like this, using try and uh, accept block, we are raising just an, uh, uh, the uh, exception. So this is how uh, the project works. How I hope you uh, understand the flow of the project, the concept of the pro uh, project. Uh, it will uh, it is a weather application. So that's it for the video. Uh, if you want this code, uh, that uh, it is given in the description below. Uh, you can uh, you can grab them, uh, grab it from them, uh, and uh, keep growing, keep learning, always be learner. Thank you.